morning. You're right. Have a good fit into yourself. Good, thank you. Hi there guys, so we're here at Canterbury Student Manor. Uh, my name's Cameron, I'm the assistant manager of the site. Um, I've lived here myself while I studied at university. I lived here for two years um, and I've been working here for a year as the assistant manager now. Uh, it's a really lovely site that we have here uh, for you guys to show you around. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you around some of the common room facilities we have first. Um, so we've got a gym, a cinema, games room, things like that. I'll show you those. And then we've got a handful of different room types I can show you as well. Um, so Canterbury Student Manor is made up of uh, studios, which is where you've got your bedroom and bathroom, and then you've got a kitchenette in the room as well. Um, and then we've got a handful of cluster en suite rooms, which are where you've got your bedroom and bathroom, and then you share a kitchen living room area with uh, three or four other people. Um, so we'll start off with the common room areas and then we can go on and move on to the room types. If you've got any questions along the way, just pop them in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them as we go around. Um, otherwise, if you think of something after the lives ended, you can contact your U Homes uh, representative and they'll be able to help you. Okay, so I'll swing the camera around and we can get started. So we're just walking through the courtyard here, um, approaching reception. Receptions manned 24 seven. So uh, we've got reception staff during the day, Monday to Friday, nine to five. Um, and then we have security over the weekends. So this is where you collect your parcels and things from as well. So heading through reception, we're gonna show you the common room facility we have first of all. Uh, this area is shared by all 400 residents that live here at Canterbury Student Manor. So first off we've got the small snug area, which is like a nice cosy space uh, before you come through to the common room. So coming into the common room now, it's really lovely and light and airy in here. You've got plenty of space. Uh, you've got lovely views of the courtyard as well. This leads all the way around. So you've got more seating. And another TV and more vending machines on the corner around here to another lovely seating area. So if I spin around there for you, you can get a better view of the courtyard from the common room. And this is a lovely space to come study, socialise, meet other people that live here at Student Manor. And we hold events every month here as well. So in September, we hold a massive uh, barbecue in the courtyard to get everyone socialising and meeting other people they might be living with. Um, we also hold a uh, Halloween event, um, Christmas, Chinese New Year. We try and run something once a month to get people down and socialising. Hi there, if you're uh, new to the live, if you've just joined, we're here at Canterbury Student Manor. Um, I'm just showing you around some of the common room areas we have first of all, um, before we can go and show you some of the room types that we have available here for next academic year. So Canterbury Student Manor is comprised of five different blocks. They go A, B, C, D and E. We're currently in E and that's where you'll find reception and a majority of the common room areas, uh, especially the laundry room. So we're just heading down into the basement now where we've got our other common room areas. Uh, the signal might be a bit patchy down here, so just bear with me. Um, if the signal drops in and out slightly, you might just have to refresh uh, the, the, the live stream. So heading down into the basement, first of all we've got our laundry room. So the lights come on automatically. We've got six washers and six dryers. It's all done using an app on your phone, so you don't have to worry about cash or change or anything like that. You just download the Circuit Laundry app, you create an account and you top up your money on there. Um, as you can see from here, it's £3.30 for a wash and £1.90 for a dry. And you just scan the QR code to use the machine. So they're really easy to use and it's all done through an app on your phone. So moving on, 
Next on the tour, we've got our multimedia room, or also commonly known as our cinema room. So this is a really lovely room for having friends over. You've got a nice big sofa, bean bags. You've got the projector, which projects onto the screen. And behind that screen, you've got a HDMI port, so you can plug in your laptop, your games console, anything uh, that, that uses HDMI, you can plug in there and, and use while you're down here. You book this room out online. Uh, you've got it for three hours, and it's yours to use how you want to use it for those three hours. So film night, games night. So it's a really lovely room and a massive projector screen. <laughs> okay. So heading on out of the cinema room, opposite that we've got the gym. So in the gym here we've got some basic equipment down here. Uh, these are like um, multi benches, so they do all sorts of functions all in one. Um, and then you've got some cardio equipment down there, running machines, cycling machines, that type of thing. So all of these common room areas are open 24-7, they don't close. So you can come down at 3 a.m. in the morning if, if you're an avid gym goer. Um, and there's no additional cost for these rooms, it's all included in your rent. So the only additional cost is for the laundry that I showed you earlier, which was £3.30 for a wash and £1.90 for a dry. Otherwise, the use of these common room areas is all included in your rent. Okay, so heading on out of the gym, the final room we have down here is our games room. So it's another nice relaxed area for you to come, where we've got our mini foot table, We've got a full-size English pool table there as well. And then we've got a TV down the end for sports games or radio or whatever you want to put on there as well. And plenty of seating, two sofas, a chessboard there. Um, and then we've got some armchairs down the end next to our drinks fridge. So that's there for bringing your own drinks down and keeping them chilled while you're having a few games with friends. So another lovely area for you to come and socialise and chill wind down after a long day of uni work. Um, and just so you know, like the pool cues and balls for the pool table, uh, you just check that out from reception. So we've got all of the equipment available up there. Um, and as I said earlier, reception's manned 24-7. Uh, that's during the day, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, by reception staff. Um, and then overnight and on the weekends, we have security. So there's always someone at reception to answer any of your questions or, or help with any of the um, issues that you're having. So we'll just head on out of here. And we're heading back upstairs to reception now, where I can start to show you some of the room types that we have available here at Student Manor. And as I mentioned earlier, if you've got any questions, if you'd just like to pop them in the chat, um, and I can try and answer them as we go around. Otherwise, you can contact you Homes afterwards, um, and they, they can be able to answer some of the questions that you might have about site. So heading back to reception now. So as I mentioned earlier, this is, this is reception where you collect your... Uh, post from here and your parcels that are kept behind reception. There's Darius, who's our full-time maintenance operative. Um, so any maintenance issues, things like that, you come to reception to report, and they're normally fixed within the day. So what we'll do is I'm going to head up in the lift now to show you one of the studios that we have. Um, just bear with me if the signal drops out because uh, it can be a bit temperamental in the lifts. And as I mentioned before, there are five blocks in Canterbury Student Manor, A block, B block, C block, D block and E block. Um, all of them have a lift in as well as uh, stairs. So move in day, you don't have to worry about lugging loads of suitcases upstairs. It's nice and easy to pop them in the lift. So 
So we're heading right up to the top floor here in uh, C Block. Uh, this is where we're going to view a large premium studio. So again, just bear with me if the signal drops out, you might have to refresh the live. So hopefully I didn't lose too many of you there due to the signal in the lift. As I say, if it's, if it's a bit temperamental, you might have to refresh the live. So we're just going in to view a large premium studio now. Uh, this room starts from £206 per week on a 44-week tenancy, or £194 per week on a 51-week tenancy. So we'll just give them a knock to see if they're in. The site's fully booked at the moment. Hi, how are you doing? Do you mind if we have a quick look round? Lovely, thank you. So this is an example of the large premium studio. So you've got your kitchenette when you first come in. Um, here you've got your dual induction hobs. Um, so you have to make sure that you've got induction pots and pans. Um, you've got your integrated fridge in here with a freezer compartment at the top. Um, also in the kitchenette, you've got a three-in-one. So this is a microwave, a grill, and an oven. Um, and then you've got a cupboard there for storage, as well as the extractor hood um, with lights in that as well. Then coming through to the bedroom study area, you've got your workstation with drawers, and you've got a magnetic notice board. And then you've got some cubby holes at the top there as well and this is a lovely room it's got a really nice view of the courtyard down below and we're at the, the top floor here in C block so we're on the fourth floor okay uh, the bed is a small double bed so it's in between a single and a double and you've got loads of floor space here to personalize it bring your own furniture make it your your room so the room type here, just to recap, is a large premium studio. And then you've got your built-in wardrobe here. So on one side, you'll have a rail and a full-length mirror. Um, and then on the other side, you've got cubby holes for storage. And then if we just head through to the ensuite. So it's nice and modern. You've got your sink with your um, mirror here. And if you um, come around this side, you've got the shower cubicle here as well. Lovely. So again, just to recap, this was the large premium studio that's available uh, on a 44-week tenancy at £206, um, and on a 51-week tenancy at £194 for next academic year. Lovely. So, we'll just head on out now, and we'll head downstairs. One of the residents is using the lift, so I'll just take the stairs quickly. So again, if it, if it drops out, you might just have to, to refresh. So the large premium studio at the moment is the largest type of studio that we still have available at Student Manor. Um, and if, if the large premium studio was something you were interested in, um, I would book sooner rather than later, as we do only have three or four of that specific room type left. Um, So we're just back down at the ground floor, and we're heading to a classic studio. Um, so the large premium, as I've just shown you, was the largest uh, type of studio that we still have available uh, for next academic year. We're now going to see a classic studio, which is a slightly smaller studio, uh, but still a, a lovely size. Um, and it's uh, slightly cheaper, the classic studio, at 186 per week, 
on a 44 week contract and 174 per week on a 51 week contract. And that's what we're heading to view now. Um, so we're just crossing our beautiful courtyard with the trees in full blossom. So just show you around there quickly. It's a really lovely space to come and um, especially in the summer to bring your laptop out and do some work out on the benches here. We've got an outdoor like gym area here as well. And you've got a, um, a table tennis table there. Again, you can check the, um, the bats and the balls out from uh, reception. So it's a really lovely space out here. So we're heading into one of our other blocks now. This is B block. Uh, just in the entrance of B block, you've got a study area. So this is another one of our common room spaces. So if we head on in here. So here we've got a couple of desks and chairs. Uh, you've got your work bench over at the end there with some stools. Uh, this is a designated quiet space. So you've got the common room where students like to go and study or socialise. Uh, but sometimes it can get a bit noisy in there with people talking. So this is our dedicated quiet study space. Okay, so heading further into B block, we're just going to go up to the second floor here. So once again, there's a lift in every block. Um, if the live does cut out due to the signal in the lift, uh, you might just have to refresh your page. So we're just heading up to the second floor in B block. Um, as I say, if, if the uh, live does cut out, you might have to refresh the page because the signal's a bit temperamental. Um, but we're heading to a classic studio at the moment. Just on the end here, this is another lovely courtyard facing one, so we'll have good views from the windows. Hello staff, viewing. Okay, so there's no one in here. Uh, so this is our classic studio. As you can see from comparing to our large premium studio, the space is slightly smaller, um, but you get the same uh, things inside it. So the kitchenette is exactly the same. You've still got the dual induction hobs there uh, with your integrated fridge and freezer compartment, um, and then your three-in-one microwave combi oven. Um, so the kitchenette area and the workstation, everything's the same in all of our studios. It's just the thing that will change is you'll get more floor space um, when you go up through the studio types. So once again, this is our classic studio. So it starts from standard uh, and then it goes classic, premium, and then large premium. And as I say, large premium is the largest room type that we have available at the moment. And this is a lovely room with really nice courtyard facing views. And then once again, the bed is a small double bed, so it's in between a single and a double. Um, the beds, all of them do lift up from the bottom here. So you've got extra storage underneath. So you've got plenty of storage under there for suitcases and things like that, which is really handy. <clears throat> Sorry about that, that's my um, smartwatch trying to talk to me. <laughs> um, and then once again, the ensuite bathroom is exactly the same depending on the room type. Oh, let me get the light there. The ensuite bathroom is exactly the same um, in all of the studios. It's the same layout, same size, same shower cubicle. Okay, so we'll head on out of our classic studio and we'll just head back to reception. 
Um, I've got one more um, common room area to show you guys. Um, with the studios, obviously you've seen, you've got your uh, kitchenette area. Um, but what a lot of the um, students find beneficial living in studios is that we've got a bookable dining room. So if you've got large groups of friends or family coming over, we've got a room that you can book out um, and entertain large groups of guests. So I'll just head over there and I can show you that now. So we'll head out the B block and towards our lovely courtyard again. And I'm sure as you've seen, um, as we've been going around, the whole site is um, fully gated, so there's gates all the way around, only residents have access, um, and access is permitted using your key card. So every resident will have a key card, much like this one. Uh, this gives So here we've got the pantry. The signal can be a bit temperamental in here as well, so just bear with me. So this is our bookable dining room. Here, much like the cinema room I showed you earlier, you book it out online. You've got the room for three hours. Um, and it's really beneficial for those people that stay in studios because as you've seen, the studio is like a, you've got your kitchenette area, but if you've got large groups of friends or family over, uh, this room for you to book out and entertain large groups of guests is really handy. So in here you've got four induction hobs, a, f a large full-size oven. Uh, you've got the same fridge and freezer compartment as in the studios, um, but you benefit from a dishwasher in here. So there's no washing up after having a nice dinner party. Okay, so that was our pantry area, which as I say, you can book for three hours at a time. So heading back out of this block. So this is the main entrance that you come through when you first access site. We've got some out bike sheltered storage. Uh, so we've got three large bike storage shelters uh, on site as well. back to reception where we started. So if you've got any questions, um, if you just contact your U Homes representative, um, they'll be able to provide you hopefully with all Lovely meeting you all and I really enjoyed showing you all around. I hope you did too. I'm sure you'll agree the Canterbury Student Manor is a beautiful site um, and we'll be happy to meet you next academic year and support you in your study. Have a lovely day. Thank you.